I'm always on the lookout for smaller language models because smaller language models are more efficient. They might be enough for your task at hand. Okay. Always you need not go for larger models. Maybe for your use case, a smaller model may do well. So that is where I landed up on this particular web page. Here they are talking about releasing 3 billion and 7 billion parameter red pajama inside family of models, including base instruction tuned and chat models. Okay. So this is from together. Okay. So this project, the Red Pajama project aims to create a set of leading open source models and to rigorously understand the ingredients that yield good performance. Okay. So they released the Red Pajama based data set, based data set, which is based on the Llama paper. Okay. This is a five terabyte data set. Um, okay. And it is used to train models like open alpaca, open Llama and MPT. So they are uh, they have released models called as red pajama insight, which are 3 billion parameters and a 7 billion parameter base model that aims to replicate the llama recipe. Okay. As closely as possible. The 3 billion model is strongest in its class. The instruction tuned versions of the model achieve strong performance. Okay. I'm not going into the 7 billion model. The 7 million model performance is much better than llama model by three points on Helm benchmarks. Okay. So they say we recommend using these models for downstream applications with few short entity extraction, classification, summarization tasks. So I wanted to use the 3 billion parameter model of this, the instruction tuned model. Okay. So it's available on hugging face. This is known as red pajama insight instruct 3 billion V1. So I'm using this particular model. Okay. And I wanted to actually uh, do some kind of a product review generation or a product review summarization. Okay. Or I want to generate product reviews given some uh, description of the product. Can it generate some, uh, you know, uh, five point summary or something like that. Okay. That's what I wanted to try off. So it says this requires GPU with eight GB of memory. Uh, so I could run this on collab. Um, so this is a 2.8 billion parameter pre-trained language model. Okay. So what I'm going to do over here in this notebook is first I need to install the necessary libraries and I'll also be using Langchain because I'm creating a prompt template for this reviews. And here I want to also show you how, you know, just changing few words in the prompt template can result in better or poorer results. Okay. So why prompt template is also important. Okay. So from Langchain, I import Hugging Face Pipeline. So in Langchain, you can use Hugging Face Pipelines for your large language models. And from Transformers, I import Auto Tokenizer and Pipeline. Here, I specify the model and I create a tokenizer for the model. And then I create the pipeline. So the task is text generation, right? And I'm sending slightly longer text. That's why this max length is 1000. Rest of the parameters are default parameters. Okay. Uh, and, uh, so here I create this pipeline and then I instant, I, uh, you know, my large language model is nothing but this pipeline with this parameters of say temperature is 0.7. Again, I took these parameters from this sample code, you know, I took it over here, this temperature parameter from here, top 0.7. Uh, temperature is 0.7 top P is equal to 0.7. So I just took temperature from there. Right. Uh, this is where I'm instantiating my large language model. Okay. Now in Lang chain, I import prompt template and LLM chain and I create this template. So my template is write a product review of the product described by the following text delimited by triple back codes. Return your response in bullet points, which covers the key aspects of the product. Response should be concise and not more than five lines of text. And here is where my text will go in this template. That's an input variable to this particular template. Okay. So here is where I create that prompt uh, template with this template and input variable is text. Okay. And here is where I create my LLM chain. 
okay, where this is the prompt and the LLM is what I've instantiated over here. Okay, so now uh, here is the text. So this is a, a text which describes a car Mahindra Thar and it's got some points regarding this car. Okay, so this is this text close to some 500 words or something like that. Okay, and I can get summary of this text in this template, basically a bullet point summary, right? Uh, so here is where I do it. I call LM, LLM chain and run this text. So, uh, you know, it generates, it uses this pipeline internally using this prompt. In this prompt, what will happen is that this text will get embedded and this whole thing will be sent as an input to the LLM. You get the result out and the result is parsed and this is what you get as an output. Okay. Mahindra Thar, the second gen Thar looks far more modern than its basic predecessors. This is basically the prompt and this is the output you get. Right. Uh, and crucially sits on the same gen 3 ladder frame chases and as a Scorpio N. So it explains about, uh, you know, it generates a neat summary over here. Okay. Right. Uh, it is quite complete in the sense it generates a summary, but there is also this incompleteness over here. So probably something to do with this, you know, review should be concise and not more than five lines of text. Right. So if you look at over here, uh, the first line, it generates five lines over here. One, two, three, third line. This is the fourth line. This is the fifth line boot space. Okay. So it generates yeah, five lines and six lines maybe over here. Right. So it generates that summary. Okay. Now I want to change the template a little bit. Okay. So what I say is that key aspects of the text instead of the product. Uh, write a product review of the following text. Um, basically, I have written over here is write the product review of the following text delimited by triple back quotes. Okay, return your response in bullet point which covers the key aspects of the text. Response should be concise but descriptive and not more than five lines of text. And here I put it as bullet point review. Okay, so with this template, when I am running it, I get this kind of an output. The review will cover the following bullet points. Please use slash bullet point tag in this text delimited by triple back quotes. Okay. And then it gives this. The Mahindra Thar is a capable off-roader with a luggage frame um, which offers good ride and handling. Right. Uh, second gen is bigger, better looking than the previous model. It gives some more details on the car features over here. Okay. Now which summary is better is for you to judge. But the thing is that depending upon how you change your prompt, you can get better responses from the large language model. So it is very sensitive to the prompt. That's what I've realized over here. So prompt engineering plays an important role over here. Okay. Uh, so this model is a 3 billion parameters model. Okay. The red pajama insight instruct. I'm quite happy with the kind of results I'm getting over here with this model, but whether it's useful for your use case or not is something which you need to test exhaustively. Uh, so the thing is that uh, I would prefer smaller models when compared to larger models because of compute efficiency. But again, you need to evaluate whether they are suitable for your use cases. It may not be the case always that larger models are better for your use cases. Smaller models also may give you good performance. So somewhere it is a trade off which you need to do between smaller and larger models, depending upon your use case for, you know, what kind of text is generated, right? So that again, depends on use case by use case basis. Another thing is that you need to be uh, cautious about how you are writing your templates. What's your prompt, uh, you know, how you are engineering your prompt for better results. You need to experiment with that for better results. Okay. So I hope this video on uh, Red Pajama Insight 3 billion parameters and how you can use that with Langchain for generating a product review based on a product description is useful for you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. I'll be putting the link to this collab notebook along uh, with the link to the models, right? Uh, to the model card over here in Hugging Face and this article which talks about the Red Pajama uh, 3B and 7B models. 
I tried the red pajama instruct 7b with uh, collab but I was running into some memory issues maybe once it works out I'm able to solve maybe I'll create a video on red pajama instruct 7b on a different use case see you in another video